<laughs> when the Bengals are, are playing well, what are you seeing? So, so in other words, if 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 this is if this game goes the way the Bengals will want want it to, what will mm -hmm. we see play out? Do you think? Yeah, that's a good question, Dave. So when the Bengals get rolling, it's really a complete game in all in all three phases. Um, and we've seen that a handful of times so far this year when when the offense is, is doing what they want to do, which is getting the passing game going and then complementing that with the run game. Um, they're, they're usually pretty quick, sustained drives. I mean, how many times have we seen this year already where it's a Joe Burrow to Jamar Chase, boom, two plays later, they're in the end zone. Um, and, and then when you look at the defensive side of the ball, um, you know, it, it's kind of along those same lines of how many three and outs this team you know, is, is looking to force and, and can they limit the, the ground production uh, for the opposing team. And so uh, I, I know Zach Taylor is always preaching how it has, they have to have complete performances, have complete team games. And, and really on special teams, um, they have yet to have either a kick return or punt return kind of breakout, which is something we have seen in the past with Brandon Wilson as a kick returner for this club. Um, and so the fact that they haven't yet had that could be something that could be on the radar, could be on the horizon. But then also when you look at rookie kicker Evan McPherson uh, taking out that Packers game, which was very uncharacteristic for him with the number of misses he had, he has just been so reliable uh, for this club and has really, you know, impressed a lot of people too with just the pure leg strength that he has shown. And it seems like any 50 yarder he goes out there is just effortless um, for the for the young rookie. And so, uh, for for this team, you know, Dave, they 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 just are really going to want to put together a complete team performance on Sunday against the Browns. What have they been viewing as kind of the keys uh, to going against the Browns? So, so I know you talked to the players. I know you, you've you've interviewed some of the coaches. What? What does um, this week look like and, and what are they saying, you know, these are kind of the keys to getting this one for the Bengals? Well, this team knows just how big of a game this is, not only going against one of your rivals, but really in the AFC North standings to be able to go 3-0 and against those teams heading into the bye week would just be absolutely huge for this club. And so that part of it and, and getting this team ready coming in hungry this is a very hungry ball club that's going to be going into Sunday's game a lot of that almost goes unsaid the players know just the magnitude of what is about to take place at Paul Brown Stadium against the Browns but also when you look at specific keys I know I mentioned just stopping the run game um, because that's Cleveland's bread and butter they they want to run the ball right down the field and uh, the Bengals are going to have to be able to show that once again they can stop that but something that the Jets were able to do, even though the Jets couldn't get running, is that they they kind of picked apart the defense um, with short passes, six yards, 10 yards here. And so I think the Bengals have to be aware of that for if the Browns struggle to get running at all, that um, that Baker Mayfield doesn't look to get some of those short completions to kind of uh, mirror what the Jets game plan was a week ago. And then on the offensive side of the ball, I mean, this offense, uh, it, it's going to go with Joe Burrow. So as long as Joe Burrow um, continues to show the accuracy and poise that he has, um, you know, I, I think offensively, they're, again, just going to want to take their shots um, in the passing game and, and get the passing game going. But I would not be surprised to see Joe Mixon have a great deal of success on Sunday. He hasn't gone over 100 yards rushing in a single game since week one, but historically against the Browns, he's at home averaging over 120 rushing yards a game in his three career games. So, so historically they've shown that they like to run the ball against this Cleveland team. Of course, it's a different Bengals offense out here this year than we've seen from the last few years, but um, but no, it wouldn't surprise me if that's something that, you know, they, they try to get going early and maybe almost take a step back from pass first, run second.